How to overcome a fear of rejection from the very root cause up. Now, are you constantly afraid if you speak up or afraid to live your life in the way you would want to or afraid to share your truth and feelings that you will be rejected if you do? Well, your perspective of fear of rejection is about to change for you. Because in this video, we're going to address what fear of rejection really is, instead of what we all believe it is. So you can get your power back independent of your circumstances. Welcome to this video. I am Tom Nines from the AliveAcademy.com and I used to have built up such a low self-esteem after having been laughed at for being very skinny and after having been brought up in a sometimes unsafe, emotional, abusive environment, I had built up constant fear of being rejected in such a way that I broke up with my relationships so that I couldn't be rejected, even when my partner hadn't any intention to leave me. Now, after having searched for relief of my issues in, in having achieved world success and after having experienced that it didn't give me any relief apart from those short shots of, of distractions that success provides, I studied both physical and psychological health. And when we truly want to liberate ourselves from any symptom like fear of rejection, we have to find and solve the root cause together with its symptoms once and for all. And to help you get past your fear of rejection, I have a very important question to ask you. Now, when we would feel independently and completely fulfilled on our own, then could we ever feel fear of rejection? No, we couldn't, because we would feel completely fulfilled independently of being rejected or not. So no fear of rejection would ever cross our mind. So understanding that solving our own fear of rejection has nothing to do with our outer circumstances, but only to do with our own unsolved issues within, is one of the most important steps towards reclaiming our independent power and complete liberation. Now, most likely when we have fear of rejection, we have had painful experience in our life that we didn't want to feel. And therefore, we learn to close ourselves up from our core, from our eyes and feelings, and learn to adopt the eyes and feelings of others instead. And because we are disconnected from our own eyes and feelings, we don't want to lose the eyes and feelings of others that we adopted, because then we would feel our own unsolved feelings again. So basically, fear of rejection is the fear that we will be left alone with our own unsolved eyes and feelings. Now that you have the most important insight, I want to give you more clarity in direction towards complete liberation, starting from rock bottom, both emotionally and financially. So enjoy the animation. In this video, I want to open that tremendous rich gift or door of starting rock bottom financially and emotionally together with you. The gift includes the crystal clear direction towards true and complete emotional fulfillment. The gift includes the crystal clear direction towards the discovery of your true core and authentic purpose. I like to call it the discovery of our inner diamond. And the gift includes the crystal clear direction towards your intended real abundant financial flow from what you authentically have to give, which you most likely would not find if you wouldn't have hit or started rock bottom. There is a greater plan behind hitting or starting rock bottom, a plan that encapsulates real abundance on every level of your life. Nature is far more intelligent than we are and really does work in our favor, even if we don't see it at the moment of hitting rock bottom. Therefore, following the laws of nature instead of our own will guide us towards the intended abundant direction. Everything that is alive to the fullest flows to the fullest naturally. And everything that stops or blocks flowing naturally becomes a flatline or dies. 
when our money line is unobstructed and flows naturally, a natural consequence will be our intended abundant flow of money. And that's why we use the word currency in relation to money. Just like the flow of our lungs is intended naturally. Let's represent this diamond as the authentic intended function of our lungs. When our lungs know that their intended authentic function is respiration, then the lungs give oxygen to the blood without any hesitance or obstruction and remove or take carbon dioxide from the blood. And this natural created flow of giving and taking makes our lungs and the rest of the body to flow or to be alive to the fullest. Just like our blood flow is intended naturally. Let's represent this diamond as the authentic intended function of our heart. When our heart knows that its authentic intended function is pumping blood around, then our heart gives oxygen and nutrients through the blood to all parts of our body without any hesitance or obstruction and takes away unwanted carbon dioxide and waste products. And this natural created flow of giving and taking without obstructions makes our heart and the rest of the body to flow or to be alive to the fullest. Just like our abundant money flow is intended naturally. Let's represent this diamond as the authentic intended function that each and every one of us has inside. When we know what our authentic function is, then we give and invest without any hesitance or obstruction in giving away our authentic purpose to as many people as possible and receive abundance as a natural byproduct. And this natural created flow of giving and taking without obstructions makes ourselves and all the people we give to flow or to be alive to the fullest. Do you think that if our blood flow wouldn't remember its natural function of giving and receiving blood, that it would be able to create a living, healthy, abundant flow? Do you know why most people don't experience this natural financial abundant flow yet? Or why most self-made millionaires first hit rock bottom before they actually can experience a real abundance? Because most people have experienced painful emotions that sets around our pure, authentic core and fulfilled feelings. And because we don't want to feel that painful feelings, we build a wall of distractions around our feelings, but also around our authentic core or purpose. Now that we are closed up from our feelings and core, we don't know what our authentic function is anymore, from which we are designed to flow over into natural financial abundance, from what we authentically have to give. Because we are closed up now, we live in emotional scarcity, where we only want to get but don't want to give in a win-win flow anymore. And from that disconnected scarcity state, we don't see the value of investing any time and money in self-liberation, so we stop to invest money in self-development or in self-discovery and start to pour away all of our money in distractions like a new phone, like Netflix, etc. All distractions away from our own unsolved pain because we don't know what to give from our core anymore, we try giving blood even though we are lungs, for example. Now, because denying our natural authentic function can never create flow, we get frustrated that it doesn't work and we stop giving and start only wanting to get. And as you can see clearly, when a flow only wants to get, it will soon, just like our money line, become a flat line. Do you see in what direction lies the liberation and the activation of your real, natural, authentic, purpose-driven, abundant financial flow? 
indeed in stopping to throw away money in distractions and in investing in discovering your authentic diamond or purpose from which you are designed to flow over into natural passionate abundance. So you will become able to even give more from what you have to give. I hear you say now, Tom, but I cannot invest because I am rock bottom. Well, we all are more powerful than our victim story. When I was rock bottom, I literally chose to do some road construction work where I stopped throwing away any time and money in distractions and invested every extra time and penny I made in studying, in courses, in self-liberation from which flowing over into natural, passionate, intended abundance is only a natural consequence, just like nature works with our blood flow or respiratory system. So let's recap. The activation of your intended abundant financial flow. First, stop wasting time and money on distractions and on what you do not have. Number two, Invest time and money in liberation of your authentic core and feelings. If you skip this step of flushing out all your unsolved issues, you will keep pouring out unsolved issues into your flow, which will block your intended abundant flow. So your own liberation is the most important step towards activating your real inner diamond and unstoppable passion. Even investing time and money in your own liberation will activate a receiving natural flow already. Number three, invest time and money in how to give instead of how to get, how to give your authentic purpose. Number four, giving will activate receiving your natural intended financial flow so enjoying to receive is as important as enjoying to give. To help you even further on this journey towards your complete liberation and towards your natural intended abundance, I want to show you the following insights. Imagine this heart represents our untouched and unharmed fulfilled feelings at the moment we are born. Imagine this diamond represents our pure core, our authentic purpose from which each and every one of us is designed to flow over into natural abundance from what we authentically have to give. Imagine these glasses as our perspective from our independent fulfilled core. Then from the moment we are born until now, we all experience painful emotions and that pain sets around our core and our unharmed and fulfilled feelings. Because we don't know how to solve that pain, we have learned to escape from it. And do you know how? By building a wall around our feelings. And do you know how we build that wall? By constantly and stressfully running away from our feelings into our mind or thinking looking for constant distractions. This escape from our feelings into stressful distractions is the birth of the root cause of all of our fear or restlessness. Distractions like constantly being busy with our phones, constantly being busy with busyness, or in other words, business, constantly looking for distractions in sex or porn, this escape from our core and feelings is also the birth of our numbing imprisonment and limitations. Note that we are not only running away from our unsolved feelings, but we are also locking and numbing our pure core and unharmed feelings too underneath this stressful hunt for distractions. This imprisonment out of fear makes us cramp or block our body and this physical and psychological blockage we also call trauma. 
now that we are locked up from our inner diamond, we don't feel our core value anymore. And this disconnection from our authentic core and feelings is the root cause of all of our feelings of emptiness and unworthiness. This is the moment where we not only use distractions to run away from our unsolved feelings, but also as a means to look for a feeling of fulfillment and worthiness by running away from our feelings. The contradiction shows itself clearly. Yet we are too busy to question this numbing, imprisoning wrong direction, which has become a routine for so many of us. We search our lost feelings of value and fulfillment, for example, in distractions like status or in filling us up with drinks and food. Do you see that by running away from our feelings, we can never reach a feeling of fulfillment or value in these distractions? And that is why each distraction, apart from the short shot of distraction it gives, doesn't keep working and falls apart. Now, when our distractions doesn't work anymore, or our control falls away, unsolved pain breaks through our wall of protection in the form of symptoms like anxiety, irritation, anger, self-pity, irregularity or jealousy. It's obvious we don't want to feel that way and that's why we start hunting for more and new numbing distractions and want to hold on to our current distractions that serve as a band-aid away from our unsolved feelings. This is the birth of the root cause of all addictions. Even if they are not good for us, as long as they distract us from our own unsolved issues. To make sure we will get and keep our addicting distractions, we literally use people and distractions as distractions away from ourselves. So we learn to develop behavior that is only interested in being distracted from our own feelings. This is the birth of our covert victim behavior, like criticism, bringing down others, abuse or allowing abuse, complaining, lying, denying, blaming, bribery, mind games, assumptions, reversals, forgetting, fake concern, flattery, conscious denial, relational aggression, damaging someone's relationships or social status or overt victim behavior like actual physical aggression. Both covert and overt victim behavior is intended as a big distraction to not be confronted with our own unsolved issues and responsibility anymore. This imprisoning, numbing rat race of hunting for distractions that never can bring us a feeling of fulfillment or worthiness is extremely exhausting. This direction away from our core might sooner or later lead to symptoms like exhaustion, depression, burnout, stress, tiredness, or even thoughts about suicide. Now, my intention of showing you this perspective is to make crystal clear that there isn't anything wrong with you that if you might have one or even all of these symptoms, that it only means that you are heading in the wrong direction, away from your own diamond and feelings. Every time we get a new distraction, like a new partner, new sex, new stuff, we get a short shot of distraction. And this short shot gives us the illusion that by proceeding in the direction away from our core, we will eventually find our complete feeling of fulfillment that we are longing for. But you now see that distractions cannot provide us with a feeling when we run away from our feelings. The more we keep blocking our core and cramping our body, the more diseases we encounter. Now, diseases are helping warning symptoms to help warn us that we are still blocking our healthy flow and are heading in the wrong direction. Disease symptoms like 
headache, migraine, bad sleep, back pain, shoulder pain, high blood pressure, or other physical diseases are only symptoms of being blocked for too long. If we are still not aware of the fact that our symptoms are our very valuable warning signals, we might choose to suppress our helping warning signals with medication and therefore keep blocking our feelings and core even more. Although medication can be life-saving in acute conditions, if we keep blocking our core and feelings, our body is being injected with constant fight and flight chemicals like stress cortisol and adrenaline that knocks our body out of balance. And according to the science of epigenetics, this chronic imbalance and blockage might switch on our inherited disease-causing genes and actually creates diseases. If we still won't listen to our valuable disease symptoms and keep blocking our natural flow of life, our chronic blockage might turn into a flatline. My intention is that you have clarity and insight that liberation from our symptoms lie in the exact opposite direction. In solving our unsolved pain, until the only thing left to be experienced are our independent, unharmed and untouched feelings of fulfillment and core, from which we are designed to see with clarity and to flow over into natural abundance from what we authentically have to give. Then there will be no more fear or stress to feel our unsolved emotions. And this will bring clarity and peace in our mind. And from there we can create and enjoy all great things life has to offer us in total freedom. What does it do to you to see with crystal clear logic that there isn't anything wrong with you? independent of the symptoms you may be facing right now. That the only thing that was wrong was following our conditioned direction away from our core and feelings. Now, what does it do to you to see that you are still the untouched and unharmed blank slate underneath all those numbing layers? The more I was trying to create a successful mask or the more I was trying to run away from my insecurities or from my fears or from my pains into distractions, the more my restlessness or exhausting fears in other forms kept arising and didn't go away. I only started to feel truly liberated, relaxed and filled with joy again, filled with self-esteem, enjoying every little thing around me when I decided to go to the root of my fears, of my pains and relating symptoms and solve them within myself. Because when we are no longer imprisoned in this exhausting system driven by fear, pain and relating symptoms, we will feel independently filled with joy again. And when we feel only joy without the fear and the pain, there won't be any obstructions left to create whatever belongs to us naturally. And when we create out of joy, without any obstructions, success and abundance are just logical, natural consequences. So basically liberating ourselves from this limiting imprisonment by fear, by restlessness and pain is the key to go from limitations and scarcity to the natural abundant flow that you are actually born for. Or does liberation come from running even harder against our will in the wrong direction out of fear? Now, everyone can make this happen for themselves, regardless of our current situation. You don't need to cultivate it. We don't have to be rich or try really, really hard. We don't need to change our relationship or the place where we are living. We don't need to change the way we look. And of course, we are free to do any of this, but it is not required at all. Just understanding how we can get past the root of our fear, of our pain and restlessness and our distracting addictions is enough. I created this video to give you perspective and crystal clear insight in direction towards real liberation from the root of the problem together with every other current and future symptom too. 
and my intention is that it will serve you this way. Do you want to know how to immediately get past the symptom of fear whenever it occurs? Or do you want to know the truth about fear and pain that will set your mind free? Well, then I have great news for you. Click here so I can send you the four free videos. Now, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe. And if you want to help me liberate even more people by making the real cause and unhealthy wrong direction visible, please share this video with your friends. Now, click on the link here and I will see you in the next video.